have a question. What's happening in an airplane engine during a zero gravity flight? Okay, so you take it in free fall. The answer is crazy. As a zero G plane is diving toward the ground, it's making everyone and everything inside feel weightless. And that includes sure. the fuel, which isn't designed to be weightless. Okay, it is designed for brief negative or zero G conditions. It's just a transient, just like nuclear fuel and reactor coolant is designed for brief transients. This would absolutely be within limits. It's not like it's, it's not like the plane's gonna be in zero G for days. So it starts to float away from the fuel pumps at the bottom of the tanks, meaning the fuel isn't getting sucked into the fuel lines and to the engines to power the plane. So most planes would have residual line inventory. So this would be a pressurized feed system, just like you would see in a nuclear plant. It's not gonna just sip. And at this point, a countdown starts because you have about 30 seconds before the engines run out of fuel. That's gonna be aircraft specific and maneuver specific. It'd be like saying all reactors boil dry in less than five minutes on loss of coolant flow. No, it depends on individual design and status of emergency systems. So the sensors at the bottom of the tanks cause alarms to go off. They're saying low fuel, low fuel, alert, alert. And, and anyone who's trained in any sort of operations would know that it's expected. Just like a reactor detection system flagging a known transient, giving an alarm, and the reactor operators responding by performing their immediate actions. And not every transient requires you to emergency shut down the reactor. It's this pilot's job to double check that it's only the alarms that they expected and then turn them off. For yes, just like reactor operators verify the system responds the way it's supposed to. Alarms do not mean danger if the condition is well understood and bounded. Fortunately, the zero gravity maneuver only takes about 22 seconds, meaning there's just enough residual fuel in the pipes to and just like any test in a nuclear power plant, you have bounded and allowed transient times and guard wet and guardrails such as temperature, pressure, tank level, that as long as you stay within them, everything's gonna be fine.